Dr. Darian, this is a subject I know my dear friend DeMarco cares a lot about. He's very curious about intermittent fasting. Yes. Here we go. Well, this new study, DeMarco, uh, <laughs> not to get you upset, but it essentially asks the question, is the benefit of intermittent fasting in the restriction of time or is it in the calories? So this is a smaller study done from the uh, Annals of Internal Medicine, a large peer-reviewed journal, and they got a small group of people and they separated them into two groups. They ate the same amount of calories, but one group basically intermittently fast or restricted their time and the result was that there was no difference in the change in weight mm. and it tells us that it's more likely not associated to the time but more likely associated to what you're eating in that specific time but it doesn't discount the benefits of intermittent fasting which has still been theorized the theory is that it helps with your insulin insensitivity which can help reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes and so on and so forth but at the end of the day if you are intermittently fasting it's not just about the time when you are eating you want to make sure you're eating high quality foods so I thought you could eat whatever you wanted to eat I in that small that, window. You know, and, and you're I, okay. I, I think that that's what everyone does, and I think that there are benefits when you're stopping eating earlier before bed, for example. But at the, this is a smaller study, but we'll have to see larger studies to see if it proves true. But if you're going to eat, make sure you eat healthy. Yeah. Come on, man. And what you're <laughs> eating matters. Exactly, is you can't just gorge yourself in, inside those time ranges. Mm -hmm. All right, the doctor has spoken. I'm sorry. <laughs>